Good evening, everybody. Oh, Pastor, say if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I say, listen, listen. I say if you're happy and you know it, then your face should show it. Listen. Hmm. How about that? How about that? Okay, listen, listen. Let's um do what we do before we eat. Let's 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 bring a word of prayer. Father God, oh, thank you. Lord, we say thank you for getting us here. Lord, hmm, it is not taken lightly anymore going home and returning. Lord, let us, let us partake of this word with you. You know you are the giver of all life. And Lord, so we say thank you and we praise your name. Amen. <laughs> Y'all, first off, the word. There is a stain. There is a stain. Uh, since our theme for Women's Month is Be Still and Know, uh, you might ask, what does that have to do with a stain? Uh, so, most of y'all know. Uh, church people, help me out. I'm glad you... Yes, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. First of all, let's get our um, chapter and verse. We're going to go from Psalms 36. Psalms 36. I'm sorry, Psalms 37, 7. Rest in the Lord. And wait Ugh. patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. We, we were given uh, this opportunity. And I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't say my thank yous. Thank you to Pastor for allowing uh, this to happen. And thank you for Deaconess Joan Demery who thought that I could do this. I'm shaking, but I'm going to go on. She told me, oh, you got it. I'm not worried about you. You got it. I'm not worried about you. So uh, rest in the Lord. Remember, rest, rest. Too many women in here. We don't do it. Rest in the Lord and wait. We don't do that well either. And wait. Patiently, huh? I prayed that so many times when I was young. Every time I did, I had a baby. I stopped. I was like, no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. We've been taught in Bible study and Sunday school. Shameless plug. Come to Sunday school. And um, hear that if you don't understand the, the word, that you're reading, the verse that you're reading, what you need to do? Read the one. You go to Sunday school. Oh, she's a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Read the one before. Two of them before is Psalms 5 and 6. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Now, for my dictionary friends, where's she at? There she is, Lucretia. Um, for my dictionary friends, what is a stain? Glad you asked that. A stain is a spot of color or, 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 or something that contrasts with the material that it's on. It's, it, it's not supposed to be there. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, should, should be in this case of a material, but it also can be a taint. Or, or like guilt. Stigma. It could also be that. Y'all, when I first started this study for the word tonight, I was given a whole nother way. 
In fact, tonight it was still in my book and I dropped it in the bathroom. First lady brought this to me talking about, here's your notes. I said, no, the Lord done changed my notes. He changed them all the way. Listen, I wanted to advise you of my love of everything laundry. Y'all, I love to do the laundry. All of the laundry. The washing, my mama said the washing machine washed the laundry. Uh, uh, the, the putting it in the dryer, the standing at the hot dryer, folding the clothes up. And now I'm going to lose a few of you. I love to iron. Not just press, not just uh, iron with the dryer. You know, that's how my daughter irons. Uh, she puts it in the dryer. Uh-huh. No, um, I iron for the young and the old. I starch for three-year-olds. My daughter said, Mama, you're on something. That is not the way to do it. Uh, 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 baby's just going to I said, it's with a crease. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I take joy in that chore. It makes me happy. Not just washing, uh, but, but, but I love to, if, if, I had, if I had one, I'd hang some clothes on a line. Oh, man, that just brings peace to my heart. Huh? See, somebody say, bless your heart. Yes, I do. I get joy from that. I've had people, children, from, from, my, from my kids' school when they were growing up, adults now, bring me things and say, hey, can you get this thing out? I don't mind. It's a, called a wash day challenge. I'm challenged by it. I fret over it. I soak it. I rub on it. I put some things in it. We, remember, we're talking about a stain. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, a stain is my challenge. Uh-huh. I, I, I know. I, I, see, uh, <laughs> I see somebody sitting over there with their wrinkled face talking about what? You, you go through all of that? I do. Uh-huh. And there have been times when I have put something in with the other stuff. You know, this, this pile got some whites in it, but they were red. Y'all know what happened, right? Yes. I called up. I'm so sorry. I, I think I ruined your shirt. I think I ruined your blouse. Don't worry about it. Calm down. No, no, no. I've got to get it out. It's a stain. I've got to get it out. This shirt started out white. It's, it's lavender. It was pretty. But that's not the color that it started out. Hey? So I soaked. And I put in. And I changed the water. And I, Pretty soon, by and by, like the next day maybe, it was white again. Yeah, I was jumping like I was at church. I was so happy that I got that stain out. I, I, I know there's a part of washing, though, that stresses me, and that's the stains. Uh, um, it, it, it stresses me. Okay? And, and I say... Uh, what does this have to do with be still and know? Ah, well, what happened was uh, I, I had this whole idea about this washing. I, I, I went to Psalms 51, y'all. I went to Psalms 51. There's a washing in Psalms 51, but it's not clothes. It's, it, it's, a, uh, it's a body being washed, but <laughs> he was so uh, into that. He needed this is David. He needed to wash because, uh-huh, have mercy uh -huh, upon me, God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot, got me, <laughs> got me, that's a, that's a trigger word for me, blot out, huh, my transgressions. Wash, there you go, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse my sins okay <laughs> so i got there i got there i had this whole idea about the washing and the washing the same uh, uh, uh i don't know i don't know what i was gonna do i i, I worked <laughs> I, I cried 
I literally cried tears. Because I was like, God, that's all I got. That's, that's not going to do it. I, I, you need to give me something. I walked the floor. I fretted. I went to sleep. I got up. Then I had to go sit in that little room, you know, that you, you have a little privacy in. Y'all, I sat for five minutes and God gave me the whole word. He gave me the whole word. And this is what he gave. He said, for we know. The reason I didn't give you the word is you already know. You know it by heart. That all things work together, wash together for good. You already know. You already know that it already works together for good to those. And please say the rest of it. Don't leave it out. To those who what? Y'all be reading. And are called according to his purposes. Uh, yes. We have a purpose because there is a stain. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 as you may know, uh, 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 God is, <laughs> he tricky. He has a way. He has a way. God is tricky. He's funny. My, my dad, dad, he funny. Yeah, 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 he's funny. Uh, Prodding and moving over the scriptures, okay? And then, oh, Psalms 51, he say, go back. Go back. Now that you're still, go back to Psalms 51. It says, 51 and 1, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Remember, blot out the transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my spot. I acknowledge my stain. I acknowledge that I'm dirty. I acknowledge that I'm not clean. And when you, uh, and when you bring me uh, your clothes and tell me to get the stain out, but you tried to get it out yourself first and you didn't tell me, I'm not going to look at her. Uh-huh. God says that's how y'all do me. You bring me your stains. You bring me your, 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 your guilt and your shame. But you don't try to wash it yourself. Uh, uh, you don't try some of the things I use. Uh, you don't try some um, Tide. This is a commercial. Okay. Tide, uh, people get in contact with me. You don't try, you don't try some Dawn dishwashing liquid. You don't, you don't try some arm and hammer baking soda you don't you don't try some things to get your stain out before you brought it to god but it didn't work you don't try some alcohol and you don't you don't try to to get it out it didn't come out uh why why didn't it come out because there's a different process there's a different process with the lord you see i use detergents. I use helpers. I use spot or stain removers. Renee got it. I see it on her face. <laughs> she said, but the Lord uses the blood. Huh? Huh? Y'all, I really am excited about laundry for real. But when I knew that God didn't use no Clorox, then stinky up the place with all that bleach. Uh, he used the blood. He uses the blood. Huh? He uses the blood. Oh. Oh. What? Come on, y'all. Help me. What can wash away my sins? What can make me hold again? I love it that y'all helping me. Help me, because, yeah, I get excited. For real, I start running. Uh, 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 nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. And if you know you have some stains, that's some tribulation, that's some distress, and that's some 
persecution and you have some stains and you and you and you have some things that you did that you 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 don't want nobody to talk about and you, you some because they're getting part of it wrong but anyway the right there is a right part and and you don't want that to show you don't want the the the, the thing to show he he uses the blood and then when you get when he gets that out he goes right down and he's going to press He's going to press. But before he presses, that's what I call, y'all call ironing. I call ironing, ironing. But y'all call it pre press. God's going to press. But first he's going to use some Holy Spirit starch. Shh. That way it stands up. That way it looks good. That way you've been through the fire and nobody can tell. You've been through the fire and you don't even smell like smoke. Listen. He will crease you. Huh? He will crease you. And not only that, <laughs> oh, the starch will make the dirt roll right off you. <laughs> now, why, why did I, do I know that? Uh, I was eating in the lunchroom when I used to work. I don't work no more. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, was, I was eating in the lunchroom, and, and the lady said, Miss Dory, you got a, a food stain on you, but it's rolling. I said, that's because of the starch. Huh? There's the Holy Spirit making it run right off. It rolls right off. It won't soak in. It won't stay. By and by, it works. Because God is a spot remover. He's a stain remover. He'll remove your stain. It won't stick to you. Uh, he, he, blot, he blots out your transgressions. Huh? Okay, listen. <sighs> but as we get all cleaned up and we get our stains removed, uh, you know somebody. You know a man. Huh? He can do anything but fail. He can lift out spots. Why don't you tell somebody? Why don't you compel somebody? Why don't you compel them to come in from the highways and the byways and get this stain removed? You might even have people that say, well, I can kind of still see your stain. But you tell them, you just don't know how big this stain was. You don't know. Huh? You don't know. Come see a man. He can get you, he can get you white as snow. He can clean you up. He can send you on your way, but he's not sending you on your way for yourself. You to get somebody, bring somebody, show them the way, and let us walk out this thing with fear and trembling, but just not because we're afraid of God. He's a good God, but because we don't want to leave anyone behind. We want to bring them in the house. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. This is a big group <laughs> compared to what's here on Wednesday nights. I'm not kidding. I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for listening. But more than that, I want to tell you to bring somebody. Bring somebody. The Lord is coming back. He's coming back. Ephesians 6, 27. That's right. That's why right. it says he, he's, gonna, he's coming back to present a glorious church. No wrinkles. Full. Fluffy. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Or any such thing. She, that, that, that's good. He wants us to be holy. Y'all, as I, as I uh, prepare to take my seat, there is another song that is not as widely known as nothing but the uh, blood of Jesus. It says, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting 
in his grace this hour uh, no it don't say hour it says ah are you washed in the blood of the lamb are you washed in the blood in the soul cleansing blood of the lamb are your garments spotless are they white as snow oh be washed in the blood of the lamb come on y'all let's get this thing done we don't have but a few more days. There's but a few more days of sorrow and tribulation and sadness. Let's make sure that we take someone with us when we go home. Amen.